Atlanta enters the second phase of reopening our city, and now there is some confusion on what the mayor is recommending with versus what the governor's orders are. CBS 46's Ayanna Crystal live in Atlanta with what this all means for you. Hi, Ayanna. Hey, Rick. Well, the city of Atlanta's reopening plan is superseded by the governor's order. So even though restaurants are allowed to offer in-person dining, the city of Atlanta does not recommend that. So restaurants like here are only offering takeout, and that is part of the city of Atlanta's phase two. It's hard to gauge when it's all new. Restaurants are adapting to the new norm during the coronavirus pandemic. But not all restaurants are rushing to allow in-person dining. You need to get kind of back to it, but I don't want it to re-spike or relapse, which no one does. So you just got to take the precautions as you can. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottom says Atlanta is transitioning from its stay-at-home phase to phase two of the five phases of the city's reopening plan. The second phase for businesses recommends to go and curbside pickups from restaurants and retail establishments, continue practicing teleworking, frequent cleaning of public and high touch areas. What this phase means for you, they are recommending you stay at home except for essential trips, wear face mask coverings in public, frequent hand washing, social distancing, and small private gatherings of no more than 10 people. The mayor's plan is not legally enforceable. Governor Brian Kemp's orders have removed restrictions on leaving home and allowing restaurants to open for in-person dining, which is causing confusion. But the Save Atlanta is doing a gradual rollout. Much persevere through everything and figure out a way to stay afloat. Agave is preparing for when they will reopen the dining area. We've uh, knocked down one wall. We're building two more walls one in our main room to keep it separate from our to-go business that we're doing. And then the private dining area and our patio will be completely separated. All right, so the city is moving forward with caution to make safety the number one priority. Now they are measuring based on testing and tracing, and they are hoping that businesses and people would adhere to the recommendation. That's the latest in Atlanta, Iona Crystal, CBS 46 News.